Coding is a high value skill and you most likely click this video because you already know how to code and want to make more money from your high value skill. Or maybe you're just starting out on your coding journey. It doesn't really matter what level you are at right now. We can always improve and become better versions of ourselves. If we don't, we lose the high value part of it. And most often it is act like the tiniest difference that makes the difference. A lot of people courses, websites, and so on want to teach you how to make money on coding and they make it seem so easy. But the reality is it is hard. Most people will fail along the way. It requires determination, hard work, focus, late nights, early morning to really have to be committed to stand out because again if it was easy everyone else would do it the tech field is very competitive the speed of development in the tech area is crazy especially within the last decade and it's not going to slow down anytime soon especially now with the new ai field ai area we have generative ai models where we have specialized agents and so on that can help us out so skills and knowledge will be disrupted and replaced all the time and a lot of universities they don't keep up with the newest trends the newest development and the skills they teach you are already outdated. You're probably all familiar with that. Once you get out, get a job and so on, it is a whole nother world. The gap between going to university and having a real world job, providing values out in company is very huge. Not that a university degree is bad, but it is just not enough to get a good job and also to stand out from all the other peoples out there. A lot of companies, they don't even have the university degree as a requirement. They are much more interested in the projects you have done and also worked on in the past. And the most important thing of all, how you are as a person. I'll provide you the steps I think you need to consider when you want to make more money on coding, especially online, if you want to land a new job or get into the freelance world, start your own freelance business. This is kind of like what I've been doing over the last three to four years. I'll also talk about how you can keep up to date with the constant development, stay up to date with the newest technologies and trends. Doesn't really matter what area you're in because how you do today is not the same as it was just five years ago and it will keep changing all the time. So the first step that we're going to talk about is starting your own business and this can be key to making a better salary and also just improving yourself, be your own boss. You can also get location and time freedom as well by doing freelance work compared to working a traditional job. And also a lot of companies, they use freelance workers or contractors to finish different parts of a task and also projects outside of their domain. And this is probably the best way into a freelance business have a contract based work, fixed amount of hours, then you can do something on the sideline. But again, you still have the flexibility. You can create businesses on your sideline. You can build new income streams, which is not an option if you're working at full time jobs. So this is a really good way to make yourself more independent and also a good opportunity to make a better salary than in just a normal job. And it will provide you a lot more freedom. There's of course always advantages and disadvantages. Doesn't really matter what you're doing. And one of the disadvantages with freelance work and work online for yourself is you have a larger risk on your side because you don't have a fixed income coming in every single month. The risk is higher, but the reward is also significantly higher. So the next couple of steps here that we're going to go through is basically just building blocks on top of what we have already talked about. So when you want to start out with your own business, freelance work, or just become very good at something, you need to find a niche and be good at that. You really need to put in time, focus on that specific niche, and it will help you significantly over time time. If you're just a little good at every single thing, you won't be hired to a good salary or chosen to do freelance work because we need specialized workers being able to do a pretty good job. And then it doesn't really matter what you're good at. If you're just very good at one specific thing, then there's always someone who needs your help. Because if you don't focus on one thing and specialize on one niche, there will always be someone better than you if you don't specialize and stand out. So find a niche and focus on that. That is kind of like the second step. You see that the problem with universities, as we talked about before, is that they often teach you a lot of things on a very high level. And then you'll just be good at every single thing out there. You won't really specialize yourself, even though you're taking a degree in computer science, AI, or whatever in the tech field, software engineering, you're not going to become good at one specific thing. So if you're in university, find a niche within your area where you can and also want to put in the time on the sideline. So this is kind of like how I started out as well. It was around three to four years ago. 
average student. I was not getting any good degrees or anything like that, but I really liked this specific area called AI. I was doing a master's in robotics. AI is a very broad field and I got interested in this sub area called computer vision. So it's basically just the eyes of a computer and I just focused on that. That was my niche when I started out. And then you can start to branch out later on when you have really built your audience, your niche and become very good at something because companies, people, they will have the problems. They can't find someone else who can do it. And then you can basically just earn whatever salary that you want. Companies, people, they don't have any other options. So this is how I started out all the way back in university, started doing YouTube videos where I basically just did summaries of the lectures and also some of the assignments and projects that we were doing. I was just putting my content out there, my knowledge, what I learned, I tried to teach that to other people because you really start to understand things when you start to teach them as well. And when I started out, I actually just wanted to create an income stream that could probably just give me a couple of thousand dollars per year so I could pay for my vacations pretty much just for my whole life so I just had to create the videos put them out there and they will pay for my vacations my holidays for the rest of my life and here we are today it is pretty much just defining my whole life and also my career everything is built up around my YouTube branching out with my LinkedIn my whole personal brand my businesses on the sideline and everything is just coming together now so the first step here is to stay up to date in your specific niche. As I told you earlier, the development in the tech industry is extremely fast and the ones that won't keep up will also be replaced over time. So it's important to understand that your skill set needs to be updated all the time so you stay attractive to companies. Otherwise, you will just be replaced and you won't be able to get to the next stage in life. This brings me to why you should choose a niche because if you have to stay up to date with all the things out there, it is pretty much just impossible. You have to have your specific area, your specific needs, then it will become easier to stay up to date. You'll stay relevant and attractive and your skills will have a high value. And this is kind of like just all the steps starting to come together. All of them make sense. They're building on top of each other. We kind of like need to have all these steps, all these modules together to become a high earning coder, getting a better job or starting a freelance business. The next step here is to create credibility. As I told you before, a lot of companies, they don't care about your education, which means that even though you have a master's or bachelor's degree, a lot of companies, they don't care and they will not give them the credibility. They need to hire you over someone else. Compared to if you have your work out there, I have all my work on YouTube, my courses, programs, GitHub profile, like all the companies can see it out there. They can reach out to me. They know my specific skill set, and then it will save me a ton of time, but also yeah, I'll get a ton of offers in my inbox. You need to give companies a good reason to pick you over other people. And then you may be wondering how to do that. And again, all these steps are pretty much just building up around that. And there's also the traditional way. It is long and more time consuming. You're basically just climbing the ladder in different company positions, but you can also do as me, put your projects out there, your skills, make yourself visible and also create a brand around you because that will create so much more credibility and ultimately it will allow you to make way more money and also way faster. And I usually say this to a lot of people, it doesn't really matter how smart you are. If you're not visible out there, it doesn't really matter. Like if people can't find you, if you don't have the credibility, it doesn't matter how smart you are. Like nobody's going to find you. So the last step here in the whole process is to provide value and knowledge to other people. This goes hand in hand with all the other parts that we talk about. You need to provide value to get others credibility, but it also allows you to make more money on the sideline or start your freelancing business. You can use your credibility and knee skills to teach others the same and make more money on that. Or you can even do consulting for companies, etc. Create courses to teach the skills to other people. Social media posts. Again, the most important thing is that we just try to keep providing value all the time. Pretty much all my success comes from providing value to others for a longer period of time. It will come to fruition one day, but it requires consistency and dedication. I can't count how many nights early mornings and so on that I was up sitting in front of my computer shooting videos even like New Year's evenings. I was shooting videos 3 a.m. in the morning after New Year's Eve. You should do it even when you don't want to do it. If it was easy, everyone else would do the exact same thing. Your advantage is everyone else's laziness and people 
they just give up way too early. If you stay consistent for a longer period of time, use these steps here to build yourself, grow your personal brand, grow your credibility, basically just put your work out there. Try to stay more relevant by finding your own niche. I promise you it will all be worth it at the end. People, they're spending three, five years on taking university degrees just to get out there and get a mediocre job. Where if you just spend a little time on the sideline, I did the exact same thing myself. Everything is documented on the YouTube channel, even from the first video. And I'm still growing my personal brands, social media posts, even starting some businesses on the sideline now. Everything is coming together. But when it comes down to the lowest level, I follow each individual step that I showed you guys in this video. So I hope you have learned a ton from this one here. I really encourage you to take them serious. Try to find your own needs. Try to figure out, okay, I need to make a plan because if you don't have a plan, if you don't have a map, you don't know where you're going. It is impossible to get something and reach a certain level if you don't even know what direction you're going. So we also have an AI career program if you want to learn how to land AI jobs and get AI freelance work. I teach you everything in there. We have programs, all my technical courses, weekly live calls, personal help. And I'll love to have you guys in there help you out in any possible way. You can check out the program down in the description and the community. And then I'll just see you guys in there.